Hi all, welcome to Anjan GCP Data Engineering. So in this video, so we will see how to access Cloud Spanner database in instance, right, using Python client libraries. Okay. So this is a continuation of our uh, previous video that is Cloud Spanner introduction. Okay. So okay, in this uh, demo, right. So we will see very basic operations like how to create Cloud Spanner instance and also databases. So and also we will try to perform different database operations like uh, DDL operations and also DML and also we will try to query cloud spanner table okay. So in the demo as I said so using python client libraries we will create an instance in the first step and then we will create a cloud spanner database using google cloud standard SQL dialect and also we will try to create some simple table and then will try to query the table using python client libraries okay so it's going to be very simple demo okay let's quickly jump into the demo okay so i've already uh, written quite code uh, to perform all this operation right uh, using our python client libraries okay so here right so i have a function for each operation for example if you try to observe this uh, uh, function right so using this function we are going to create cloud spanner instance right and then to create database we have one more function so and also to insert some data using dml operation so this is the function and uh, to query cloud spanner table so we can use this function right so i have just created function such a way right uh, so that we can easily understand this code and uh, uh, you can reuse this code right in other modules if it is required by some other requirement or pipeline okay. So the first important uh, prerequisite right to work with cloud spanner python client libraries you need to install this particular module right. So this is the first step right. So once you install that then you can write this code and you can try to interact with your cloud spanner instance and databases and also tables okay so the we'll try to understand the code high level and then uh, we will i will try to uh, execute this code step by step so that you can understand it very easily okay so this is the first step i'm going to create a cloud spanner instance so this required instance id so you can give your uh, instant id name so then you have to specify the reason you have to pass region as a parameter right so here it is a configuration to create your cloud spanner instance so this takes uh, project name and also region okay so and then this is the object which would be used to create your cloud spanner instance this is taking instance id and then configuration details and also display name right so we have seen it right all these details when we were creating cloud spanner instance using our google cloud console option right the same way you have to specify all your input arguments over here right and the node count is one right so here if you want you can also specify processing unit it is up to you either you can use node count or processing unit but here i am using node count right so this is clear so once everything is set you can use this method to create your cloud spanner instance right so this is what we are going to do in the first step we are going to create cloud spanner instance using this function now here the end of the code right i have uh, all these functions i'm just calling or executing this function one by one just passing required input arguments so this is my cloud spanner instance name which i'm going to create and this is the region where i'm going to create our cloud spanner instance let us go to our cloud span or gcp console right now it is in it is empty right so there is there is no spanner instance available over here so now i will execute this script so that it will create the cloud spanner instance right yeah so this is the script name right so this is the script name so now let me create this spanner instance authorize Okay, now you can see our cloud spanner instance has been successfully created. Just go to our console page, just refresh so that 
you can see our cloud span spanner instance details over here now you can see this is a instance which we have created if you click on this instance there is no database available in the next step we are going to create a database right right so go to our code again now let me comment it out just try to call this function over here or execute this function over here this will create a database name called demo underscore db right so this is the function this is a function to create database right so again everywhere right in in, in if you take any function over here right so this is very common code required to create spanner client and using that client we are going to create instances and databases and tables and even query those tables right? now here this is a table which we are going to create simple table employee so it has three columns name id and the salary and the and also primary key right so using this method database dot create we are going to create the database and also a table in it okay so let us execute this code once again so that it will create the database and also table okay so same script yeah now database has been created along with the table that's that is employee table right so now we can go to our console page now click on this instance now you should see database is created so this is a database with google standard sql dialect okay so click on the database now you should be able to see table as well yeah this is the table which has been created so this is a schema now if you click on the data that is nothing actually now we are going to insert some data into this table okay so so now we will comment out this part and will enable this function that is inserting some data so right so we are going to insert data in batch mode this is a method which is being used right inside this class okay so we are creating the client right so common step and then we are inserting almost five rows into this table in batch mode right so all these are very simple script you can just go through these scripts i will try to share this code with the video description okay so you can use this code as a reference right okay so now execute this code again so that it will insert data into this table okay so data has been inserted right now what we can do so come to this table and click on the data now you should see five rows available in this table okay so this is one way you can query and view the data query data using python client libraries okay this is the function right which i have written okay same thing so he to query data it's going to use snapshot class inside that snapshot class there is a method called execute sql right this is taking query as an input right and it's going to return that query result okay so now we are going to execute this script for querying cloud spanner table now you can see four rows have been written right so i hope this is clear okay just go through the google cloud spanner official documentation so there are other methods available to perform other operations like update data or delete data right uh, creating indexes and uh, querying data in different methods right so this will definitely help you so that's it for this video we will meet in the next video thanks for watching